Our next guest on Ride to Work is a guy who has risen to success but is still down to earth. He's professional and personable. He is a fan favorite. He's a friend. He is Lawrence Jones. Lawrence is coming out right now, so let's go learn more about him as we drive into the studio. Well, hello. Lawrence Jones. What's, I parked extra close a, to give you, you know, a challenge. I'm tall, so sometimes I need an obstacle course. All right, look at this. Look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm All so right. done. So, Lawrence, I got you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm not going to lie. I accidentally put my elbow in it just a second ago. I thought ago. you just <laughs> ate it, you know, but it's I, okay if it's the elbow. I don't know if this is dangerous, but we're just going to. We're going to do We're going to do it anyway. I hate these lighters. They freak me out. I feel like I'm going to burn my finger off every time. Welcome to the car, by the way. Thank you for having me. This is me. your snack. You have to make a wish. Okay, this is my wish. Okay. I can't tell you. You what can't it is. tell it's me. Bad it's luck. Fine. How are you? I'm good. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. I'm glad I finally got you because you are so busy, and I don't think people truly know they see you everywhere. But yeah, I hear that you only get four hours of sleep. Is that true? Who told you? It is true. <laughs> yeah, four hours, four to five hours. Sleep. It depends on the day. That's not enough, Lawrence. My rule is in the bed by 12, up by 5. <laughs> Why 12? Because, you know, that that gives, that's the ticker. If, if I can get four hours of sleep, I can survive. Okay. Three, I start to get, you know that feeling when you're hangry? Like when you haven't had the proper food? That's how I start to get when it's less than four hours of sleep. I think anyone would be that way with less than four yeah. hours of sleep. Many yeah. would be that way with four hours of sleep. It's hard to find time in the day for yeah. yourself because you're always focused on other people. And I love that about you too, because when you're walking down the street, I've been with you where people, at the Patriot Awards, people are flocking towards you. And you are so kind and you are so gracious to everyone. How do you keep that head on your shoulders straight? Thank you, that, that means a lot. Um, so I think that's part of the reason that I moved back to Texas because, you know, my family, my friends that I grew up with, they know me as me, just Lawrence. And so, you know, it's so easy to, in New York and in this industry to get caught up in all the noise and all that. And I wanted that foundation. And, you know, th these people, they pay our bills like, if they're not watching us and supporting us, then we can't do our job. But I also, I, I genuinely do love people. Because I am with our audience, it keeps you grounded as well. It keeps you humble. It, you know, you're serving our audience. You're not there to be higher than them. Because when I go on air, there's so many people that are fickle based on the moment. And if you're gonna be on air, you have to stay, stay true to your conviction because if you allow ratings and what people are saying on social media and public pressure to sway you, then people don't get that authentic person on air. And so it's just, it's a reminder just for me, like be bold as a lion. You hit the nail on the head. I, it, in your position, I'm sure you get so many comments and. People have opinions, right? And, always. You know, always. This, we live in this world. But I loved that, that you had that around your neck and now you have it permanently mm -hmm. on your arm. We gotta talk about Nala because at the beginning of this, I was My like, sweetheart. you know, Lawrence is a fan favorite, but another fan favorite is Nala. So. Everybody loves Nala. I mean, honestly, now when people see me with her, they don't even address me. They go, <laughs> is that Nala? And I'm like, what? Nala is like, as like been a gift to me. And people that have followed me over the years, I used to didn't be a dog person. Really? Like I was not, I grew up with a dog. Wow. And I liked after you that until dog, that moment. I know, right? <laughs> I gotta sign this story of this uh, special forces operator dog named Raptor. And Raptor is like one of the most decorated canine dogs, especially during the war on terror. And so me and Raptor like formed this connection and this is, Tough dog, Belgian Malinois. Yes, very tough dog. Very tough dog, very tough dog. But she just would not leave me alone. And so the special forces operator looks at me, he goes, I feel like you want one. And I jokingly said, uh, well, if you can find me one from Raptor's bloodline, I'll get one. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Labor Day, 
he sends me a picture. He goes, brother, I found you one, and it's a picture of Nala. And <laughs> I got so attached.